Hey guys, welcome to Soccer Gaming, where all soccers can game. If you're not already a part of the community, then hit that red subscribe button to be a part of Soccer Nation. If you guys watched the last episode, you saw us take on Texas Tech, and I gotta tell you what, the best our offense has played all year, put up a lot of points, and not necessarily the best our defense has played, but they cost seven turnovers, which helped us win in the end, and injury to Reggie Robinson, Cummings coming in on a senior day, Darian Miller in senior day, all the seniors stepping up, scoring a bunch of points, and we ended up winning this one 91 to 41. In this episode, we find out who we play in the bowl game. So it looks like we got a few commits, our kicker, right outside linebacker, and then Quentin Coley, wide receiver that we were winning. So starting or ending the season on a good note, three recruits. Hunley winning the Heisman, having a good year at UCLA. And now you found out who we were playing. We were playing the Orange Bowl against Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech was number one on last week, so they lost in their conference championship game. I can't remember who they played, but they ended up losing. Skylar Miles getting the Chuck Bednark Award, so he did win the Defense Player of the Year. He also won the Linebacker of the Year, so Skylar Miles getting two of them. Albert Mills, Returner of the Year again for his sophomore season. I'm wondering if I can get it all four years with Albert Mills. So going just over a bunch of the bowl games i want to show you all the bowl games that way if one of your favorite teams like new mexico state nine and three not bad one of your favorite teams is in these i want you to, i want to see who you think is going to win their bowl game so feel free to comment down below and tell me who your favorite team is who their bowl game is and do you think they're gonna win Central Michigan, 10 and 3, 8 and 1, going against Notre Dame. That'll be a good game to see if Central Michigan is actually as good as they are, you know, seem to be. Texas, 7 and 5, not a great year for Texas, but they're in a bowl game against Washington, the Holiday Bowl. Some other teams making it in Cincinnati, 6 and 6, making the bowl game. Rarely do you see a 6 win team make a bowl game. Army 10 and 2. Army did pretty well this year. 10 and 2 against 7 to 5 Iowa. I wonder if they can get the Meineke Car Care Bowl. Fresno State. Louisville in there against USC. USC another 6 and 6 team making a bowl game. Not really sure about that. The Alamo Bowl will be Oregon against our Kansas State rivals. I love Oregon. They're actually my second favorite team. So I'm hoping that, Ro that Oregon stomps Kansas State. Oklahoma making their bowl game. North Carolina, 8-4. They're in against LSU. Wake Forest, 9-3, number 10 in the nation. Good for them. And going getting going against Stanford. Florida Atlantic, a 7-6 team. Florida Atlantic making it to a bowl game. Surprised about that. Florida, 7-5 against Virginia Tech, 9-3. That ought to be a good game. Number 12, Virginia Tech. Penn State, 7-5, going against NC State, 6-6. Six six. Indiana, where I am from now, is in a bowl game. Al Alabama, 11-2, going against Nebraska, 10-3. Number 9 versus number 13 in the Capital One Bowl game. That will be a good game on New Year's Day. Texas A&M making it in 9-3. And their bowl game against 9-3 Michigan State. So 8 versus 14 in the Outback Bowl. Wisconsin 12-1 playing UCLA 12-1. Number 4 versus number 3 ought to be a good game. West Virginia getting their bowl game 10-2 versus Louisiana Tech 12-1. Number 16 versus number 6 coming into the Fiesta Bowl. Going down to the Sugar Bowl, Georgia is going to play Temple. I'm not sure how Temple made it into a bowl game. They're 7-2 in conference, but not good enough to make it to the Sugar Bowl, if you ask me. And then we got the Orange Bowl, where you have Kansas versus Georgia Tech. Arkansas versus TCU. So TCU making a bowl game. Auburn versus Troy. Some other smaller bowls here. Iowa State versus Florida State is going to be your national championship game. 11-2 versus 11-1. Going over our game, Georgia Tech expected to win this one with a B-plus offense, B-plus overall, and an A-minus defense. So better overall, it looks like their rushing offense is actually better than ours. Super surprising. And if you look at their defense, they have number one total defense, number three against rush, and number two against pass. So we might run into a complete defense juggernaut. We will have to find out and see what happens during the game looking at our overall schedule we lost against west virginia in the second to last week but we were able to beat pretty much handily 
the rest of the Big 12, there was a few close games. Georgia Tech winning every single game up until the end when they lost to Florida State 39-21. But Florida State is now going for the national championship, so you know Florida State's good. They're 11-2 on the year. But Georgia Tech 12-1 losing in the conference championship game. That really, really stinks. They were number one after we were number one. So pretty much two weeks ago, you're having the number one versus the number two team. But this week, it is going to be number five versus number six. Coming in, 91 Georgia Tech, 91 on offense, 93 on defense. We are the same as we've been all year, and let's get the bowl game started. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Kickoff has started. The last two seasons, we have won both of our bowl games. Hoping to win this one. Mills looking for a big return here. He's going to get to the left side. Finally pushed out at our 41-yard line. 66-yard return for Mills. So Mills getting us started off very, very well. Looking for Robbins, Chase, Gray, Gallagher. Just looking for something on third and nine over the middle. We're going to change the route. Getting rushed over the middle. He's wide open. Chase beats his guy. Beautiful throw. Touchdown. Kansas 37 yard from Reggie Robinson to Brad Chase. Kansas first up on the board, taking a 7 0 lead. Georgia Tech running their option crazy offense. They run with the wishbone and the flex bone. They're really, really good at it. So our defense is going to have to play very, very well today to stop it. Here comes Lee. Lee's going to get it for 11 yards there and a first down. Third and eight. We know Georgia Tech has to throw it. And they're going to get a first down anyways to Autry. And Autry's going to break this one down to about the three-yard line. 21-yard reception on that. We knew exactly what was coming and still couldn't stop it. Vad Lee, his first pass of the game. Second and goal. Motion. Wilson up the middle for a touchdown. And Georgia Tech on the board. Tying Kansas 7-7. Seven in the first quarter Robinson third and 11 looking for Robbins or Chase here maybe even Porter gonna change Gray's thing over there on the left gonna throw it to Gray and it's gonna be intercepted by Anawalu and finally brought down by Robbins changing the route on the left side and just not a good pass from Reggie Robinson intercepted and Georgia Tech looking to score before the first quarter, third and four, we know they're throwing, and we're still not able to stop him again. Summers catching this one on the left side. Four first down. We know exactly what's coming and still can't stop it. First and 10. Georgia Tech has the ball. Look at the score here. Lee is going to keep this one, and he is going to run right in. McDonald just overrunning him. 13 yard run by Vad Lee. Having a great season. Their leading rusher, actually, is their quarterback, and he shows it off there with the touchdown. First and 10, going to send Robbins. We're going to clear out the center, and hopefully Gray's open here. It looks like a zone. There he is, open. Beautiful pass. John Gray running this one. Jason Gray running this one, and finally brought down on the right side after a big game. First and 10, 5.15 left in the second. Looking for Chase or Gallagher. Chase going to be open again. A beautiful touch pass and another touchdown. Exactly the same play that scored the touchdown in the first quarter. Scores it again. Reggie Robinson, two touchdowns. He does have those two picks, but two touchdowns on the beautiful touch pass. to Chase for another touchdown. Your score is 40, 14 to 14. I think we'll see more and more attempts to create needing to stop the running offense been trying everything we can Lee gonna keep this one pitch it to snooty and overran by McDonald again and miles gonna die but not able to get moody and moody's gonna run this one for a touchdown snooty just taking off with it a touchdown for Georgia Tech fourth and eight needing to go for it here one of the score before halftime, not a good place to punt it, so they're going to go for it. 
Robinson scrambling to the right. He's going to throw it in. Open was Chase, but not able to get it. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. A huge overthrow. Wide open Chase, just not able to get the ball. And that's going to prove big in this game. First and 10. Georgia Tech with the ball. Vad Lee back to throw it. And it's going to be intercepted by McDonald. So that incompletion did not end up costing points. A turnover. And McDonald coming up big here at that safety spot. Just beat on the route, but Vadley throws it under and able to be intercepted by McDonald. Second and one, Robinson going to throw over the middle. It's going to be intercepted to Noble, just overthrowing Chase again and right into the arms of the linebacker. And just like that, a turnover again. And Georgia Tech will have another chance to score. Three seconds left in the second quarter. Georgia Tech up by seven. Lee back to throw. He's going to launch this one. It's going to be intercepted by Allen. Allen might be able to pick this one off and run it back. Bad Lee able to bring him down. Could have had, up, could have had a pick six there, which would have been huge before the half. But Bad Lee able to run down Allen and no points for Kansas. So, and Georgia Tech going into halftime up 21-14. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Yellow Jackets with a touchdown lead. Kansas Georgia has to come out differently the in the second half if they want to win. Vad Lee doing his thing, keeping this one. Huge gain. Allen finally bringing him down. 29 yards on the rush by Vad Lee. Third and five. We know the pass is coming. Everyone's covered. And Vadley's going to run with this one up the middle and first down for Vadley. So beautiful pass. Beautiful pass defense and just not able to stop the run by the quarterback. And Vadley going to pitch this one to Curtis on the right side. Miles finally bringing him down after a 19 yard rush. Third and goal. We know the pass is coming, but it's not. Vad Lee's going to keep this one. And it's a good thing he did because there's another touchdown for Georgia Tech. 28-14, Kansas needing the score here to stay in the game. Mills out of the backfield is who we're looking for. Nobody open. Robinson going to throw it deep, and it's going to be caught by Mitchell. Mitchell out of the backfield, coming free. Just a linebacker versus a running back, and not a good thing, but a, a decent pass. Able to get it there. If, if it was caught by Mitchell and Stride, it would have been a touchdown. But Robinson actually brought out injured after that play. And Cummings is out. You know what he does. He does the option well. And he's going to pitch this one to Darian Miller. And Miller's going to get in for a touchdown. So Kansas making this a one-possession game. In the third quarter, 336 left. Kansas 21, Georgia Tech 28. Kansas defense needing a stop. Has to stop the run in Vad Lee, and they're not going to do it here. Vad Lee going to get loose, and Vad Lee just like that is gone. The very first play from scrimmage. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. 75 yards on that touchdown run. So defense just not stepping up, making any plays whatsoever. Just letting him run. I know we we know the option's coming, but the defense can just not just cannot stop it. Albert Mill is going to return this one on the right side, hoping for a big return here. He's going to squeeze through the right side, and there he goes again, 63 yards on the return, setting up the offense with a good fill position. Reggie Robinson in the game again, running the option here. He's going to keep this one up the middle. Going to pitch it finally, and Mills catches it. And Mills in for the touchdown. So Kansas scoring, scoring right away. 32 yards on that touchdown run. The pitch almost picked off by Georgia Tech. Luckily it wasn't. Kansas just almost lucky on this pitch because the defender was there, just not able to get it. And Mills going to run this one in. Kansas 28, Georgia Tech 35. 50 seconds left in the third quarter. We know the option's coming. Lee going to squeeze out of the backfield again. He's going to run this one for a touchdown. Brought down at the one-yard line. Sorry, no touchdown on that one. One-yard line. You know what's happening next. Vad Lee is going to keep this one, so he will get the touchdown, but on the next play. 
Kansas needing to score here to stay in the game. Robinson going to get a wide open lane, but not as fast as Vad Lee. Only 20 yards on the rush for Robinson. Cummings into the game. He's going to hand this one off to Darian Miller up the middle and a touchdown for Kansas. 35 to 42. Kansas only one score away. Stopping Georgia Tech. Three and out, kicking, hoping Mills will get a good return here. We got to score on this possession. Mills going to get hit backwards. He's going to find the right side. Can he find the corner? He's finally brought down, but a huge gain on the punt return. 130 left. Kansas needing the score to send this one to overtime. Mills up the middle on second and six. Three yard rush. 45 seconds left. Third and five, looking for Robbins, looking for Gallagher, looking for someone on the right side. We are going to send Parks to the other side as well. Mitchell, we're going to send out of the back. Hopefully, he's open on that left side. We're hoping to clear everyone on the right side, and hopefully, he's open on the left. He's scrambling. Nobody open. Robinson going to try to throw this one. It's going to be intercepted by Hankins. Not sure why he threw it. He should have just ran it out of bounds. Got the one or two yards and gone for it on four down. But a huge interception thrown by Reggie Robinson. Been turning the ball over a lot lately. And this one is going to cost the Kansas Jayhawks. They are able to stop them. But it's fourth and nine. Georgia Tech going to run out the clock and win the Orange Bowl. Kansas coming up short in the bowl game against Georgia Tech. So congratulations to Georgia Tech. But Kansas just not playing well enough to come out with the victory. So another season is gone. Kansas, this one not rolling their way this year. Last year's bowl game Here's went their way. The year before the went game. away, EA went their way, but not this year. And Vlad Lee definitely, definitely, definitely earning the player of the game. And he was impossible to stop. Our defense Kansas, just not able to get the job done. And 11-2 and is how we're going to finish the season. So looking at the passing, Cummings 1-2. for two. Reggie Robinson, freshman, he carried us all season, but not a good showing today. Four interceptions, 165 yards, and only two touchdowns for him. The four interceptions has to, I mean, he's got to get better. He's got to stop turning the ball over. Some of those throws were just not good throws by him. Going to the rushing game, not much for our rushing attack as Mitchell had 79 yards on 16 attempts. Reggie Robinson, 49 yards. Albert Mills, 73 yards and a touchdown. And then Darian Miller, the senior, actually getting two touchdowns on the day, but that's not going to be enough for the win. Going to receiving, not much better. Chase had those two touchdowns early in the game, 89 yards for him, but the offense just not really showing up, not, be, not able to get anything done. Got to change that next year. Defensive-wise, Dexter McDonald having a decent day. Miles up there as well. Allen with an interception. McDonald with an interception, but it's not going to be enough for the defense. The defense is giving up way too many rushing yards. 352 to be total honest with you. Passing yards, we held them to 50, but they didn't really need the passing game because the running game did it all for them. 352 yards is way too much to be giving up. And the reason of the loss, I honestly think if we didn't turn the ball over at the end, we would have stood a chance to tying it, sending it to overtime. An interception at the end was the fourth interception of the game, and that cost Kansas the bowl game. So if you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and also feel free to hit that red subscribe button. This will be the last episode for Kansas Rebuild this season. Next season, when football comes back around, I will be starting it up again. So make sure you hit the red subscribe button so you can come back next year and watch the Rebuild series again. Thank you guys so much for all the support during the Kansas Rebuild. Until next season, slacker out.